Hello, the internet. I'm Isaac, and I'm uh, super excited to bring you this tutorial today for Blender 3D. Um, this is what we're going to be making today. It's a really cool text effect. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's a lot you can do with it, and it's, yeah, it doesn't take too long, so we should be able to get through this pretty quick. Um, there's a couple of variations on this. This is kind of the base one that I liked. You could also have a bit more wild and crazy, or a bit more plain and simple, but like extra spiky. I think that's how you, yeah, that's a good way to describe that. Extra spiky, I like it. All right, so let's just jump into Blender and get started. Cool, all right. So start off with your basic Blender scene. Um, first thing you wanna do, set the background strength to zero or the color to black. Should both be the same. I don't know if there's a difference. If there is, let me know, I have no idea. All right, then we wanna get rid of the cube. We won't be needing it and this light. And the camera, we want to click Alt-G and Alt-R to reset the location and rotation. Then you can just pull that up on the Z axis. Oh, about that far, if that'll work. Next thing we want to do is add in our text. So we throw that in right here. Excellent. Let's go to our camera view. And let's scale this up to where we'd like. And we should probably decide what we want to say, huh? Let's see. Uh, hello. 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 Nope. Hello. Perfect. Nice and friendly. I like it. I like it. Um, you can do whatever font you want. You don't even have to do text. You could just do shapes, logos, symbols. Um, any, anything you really want. This effect will work, but it's fun with text. All right, so if we've got the text, once we got the text, how we want it, what we want it to say, the font, whatever, um, we want to click W or go up here to object and click convert to mesh um, because we're going to be adding a particle system to this and I don't think you can add a particle system to a text. At least it, you couldn't when I first read this. Um, yeah, so next step, create a particle system, this right here. So plus, and it'll pop in one particle. We don't want it to be like a normal emitter. We want to use the hair settings. If we leave the camera here, we'll see a bunch of hairs standing straight up. And Blender's hair system is fantastic, but we are gonna change a few things about it. Um, so to get the crazy distortion, right, we're gonna use a force field and turbulence. Move this over here. And you can see as I turn up the turbulence strength, it kind of distorts all the hairs because it's it's hair. They're not just straight, you know, lines or sticks. They bend and curve and wave. Um, but the effect that I was going for, they're all just kind of sh straight lines. And the combination of different straight lines at the right angles kind of makes the text. Um, that's kind of what I was going for. If, you, if I pull it back up here. Yeah, so if you look in close, you can see that there's no really no real definition to the text. Um, it's just all of the lines crossing in the right places to make the text. If that made if that made any sense. All right, let's get back into this. Um, so we're not going to use the regular hair particle necessarily. What we're going to do is add in a mesh and a icosphere. These are great. Um, you can drop the resolution or subdivisions, excuse me, or increase it, but I'll just leave it at two. And then just move it oops, out of the way along the x-axis, just somewhere where the camera won't see it. And then go back to this text, go to the particle system again, click render and change from render as path to render as object and select our icosphere. And we'll immediately see we're greeted by a bunch of bubbles. And you know, while that would be a cool effect if that's what you're going for, that's not what I was going for. But hey, you know what, it'd be cool too. I'm sure there's something you could do with it. Um, surprise me. Okay, so to fix this, we want to select our icosphere. You can select it right here click on it, whichever, and then go to these um, object properties here. We're gonna change the scale. So first thing I wanna do, um, let's just grab all of these and pull them down really small so we can just barely see it. 
and then we want to take the z scale and increase it so they're super long and skinny um, now you can increase it to whatever size you want at this point um, this is where we started to get into a lot of the customization of the effect you make it how you make it look however you want to make it look kind of got an idea of what i'm going for so i'm going to stick with that if there's something you have in mind go with that or just follow along you know whatever you want to do this is your project you're working on i'm just trying to give a few hit, hints and tips something like something like that i don't know i don't know what i'm doing guys i'm just having fun and making cool stuff that's what i do cool well that looks pretty good um i'm actually going to drop this these two values to maybe 0.01 make them extra skinny maybe play with the length here perfect couple more things we want to change in our particle system um, I like to change the source from jittered to random it just seems to give a more even distribution across the faces of the text because um, before if we change back to jittered these two L's didn't have a lot going on probably because the geometry on them is very simple there's not much there uh, well there are a lot more vertices and faces on these other letters so I like to change from random to jittered makes it look better once again, you do what you want to do. And I'm going to leave that there. Next thing I want to do is add in a modifier. And you don't really have to do this. Um, this is just the way I like to do it. I'm going to go to the wireframe and set the thickness to zero. Just kind of get rid of the text. You could go into particle and unclick show emitter right here. But I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I don't know. It seems easier for me. Just to have this as a reference in case I ever need it, I can just pull that up. I don't know. We each do it with different things. That's the way I like to do it. So you do whatever floats your boat, creates buoyancy on the bottom side of your watercraft. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, next, let's go ahead and change to rendered view. Um, disable all these overlays. You'll see nothing. It's because everything is black and dark. If there's no light, you can't see. So we want to <laughs> select our icosphere here and just give it a new material. Um, change from principle to emission. There it is. And would you look at that? We have a bunch of white lines. And not super exciting. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on right now. So let's change a couple things. Go back to our uh, text. Here it is. Um, increase the number of particles. For the final render on those other ones I was showing you, I was using about 50 to 100,000. Uh, so you definitely do whatever your system can handle. Um, for this, I'm going to do, let's try 10. Hey, that's a good start. Cool. Um, now there's, there's is too much going on here. Looks like these particles are a bit too thick. So you can change the scale right here too, if I do 0.01. So they're skinnier, but they're also shorter. So I'm going to go back to the icosphere, back to object properties, and increase the length. Maybe that's a bit too much. Now we'll use that to start. Uh, so you see there's a lot of good, good length here, kind of crazy wild effect, but it's hard to really see what the text is saying. Uh, so if I go back to the um, turbulence force field, uh, let's start playing with these settings. So strength is obviously the strength of the effect. We set it at like one. Um, it's kind of like loosely distorting it. There's still a lot of like clumps and whatnot. We set it to zero. There's a bunch of white lines, all horizontal, which you know is cool in its own way, but not what I'm going for again. So I like to increase. Well, I mean, you play with these values to do whatever you think looks cool, whatever you think looks good. Um, there really is a whole lot of different stuff you can go for. Uh, so you can also increase the size. This is like the size of the noise that it's producing. So if you do zero, is like a default value. I'm not exactly sure what it's equivalent to. But if you just increase it a little bit, you'll see that the particles are kind of everywhere. There's no real pattern or reason to what they're doing. But if you increase the size a bit more, you'll see that patterns do start to take shape. They start to kind of clump in similar directions. If you increase it all the way, they're almost all facing the same directions with just a little bit of wave and variation. I mean, a lot of cool effects you can create with this. You can even animate this um, to produce something pretty cool too. 
um, yeah, I'd, and I'd love to see what y'all come up with. So just yeah, tag me in the comments, post it on a blog or forum or website or whatever, you know, I'd, I'd love to see it. Just let me know. Send me an email too. I'll put my email address in the description. I love seeing your guys' work. There's a lot of cool stuff you come up with. All right, so for this one, I want to kind of, I want to still want to see the letters and what they're saying, but I want it to be pretty chaotic. So I'm going to play around with this. I think that size is good. I'm adjusting the strength. And you can add or remove particles depending on, you know, what you're looking for. That looks cool, but I might add in some particles. Let's change to 20,000. Okay, yeah, that looks good. As for materials, or shaders, excuse me, there's a lot you can do as well. Um, for the ones I showed you at the beginning, I just, whoa, <laughs> I added a material to the text. We don't need that. We want a cycle. I go sphere, use the shader we already created. You can increase the strength, really wash it out, decrease it, make something subtle. Um, what I did is I just kind of did like a really off white with a little bit of blue and kind of decrease this a little bit. Um, yeah, a whole lot of cool stuff you can do. I mean, already that looks pretty cool, um, but just to show you some other stuff you can do, you could add in uh, texture, gradient texture, those are cool. Plug that into the color. I uh, can't really tell what's going on there. It's still in a map node. I just um, click Control T to do that. If you have the Node Wrangler add-on installed, it makes this flow real well. Uh, so let's try and say I want to leave this view and go find our icosphere. Oh, and it is tall and skinny. Let's try and increase these sizes. Let's change those to one. All right, so it looks like the gradient like side to side so let's rotate that 90 degrees wrong axis try another one 90 degrees there we go that's cool so kind of phase from one direction to another decrease the scale maybe the position nope oh, there it was there it was too much cool let's throw in a gradient shift to a converter color ramp and let's see maybe i want to make kind of fade to a Blue. Okay. Okay, that's looking interesting. We can work with that. I don't know. There's there's a lot you can do. Let's go back to the camera. No, oh, those are all way too big. And so let's just drop those back down to 0.01. And there you have another interesting effect. You have one end there white, they kind of fade to blue. It's all random and jittered, so it looks random and <laughs> jittered. Uh, talking in circles a little bit. It's fun. That's pretty. That's pretty interesting. You can. There's a lot of full. The there is a lot of interesting stuff that you can come up with, and I'm having a hard time talking today. And that's fun. So I'm gonna kind of play with that a little bit. That looks cool. Maybe. Work on these colors. Maybe I want to fade to like a mm, not sure I'm liking that. I don't know. There's a whole lot you can do. Um, for now, I'm just going to keep this just base color. Um, oh, that is that's too red. But I can see how you know if that's the effect you can go for. That could be cool for something. Um, but I'm not sure what. And I really like this kind of little bit of blue. It's like very light and subtle. It's kind of it gives it a cool vibe. Um, yeah. So that's that. You can add some bloom if you want. I'm using the EV render engine, can you cycles? Um, but EV is really good for particles. Uh, there is it's pretty powerful. So Add a lot if you increase the strength, increase the bloom, get a washed out effect. Almost looks like some kind of firework, long exposure or something. I'm going to drop that back down. Not what I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That's really all I've got for you guys today. Um, once again, I'd love to see what you come up with this. 
there's a whole lot you can do, a lot of variations, patterns, shaders, colors. Yeah, let me know. Um, let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, critiques, let me know. I'd love to hear it all. Uh, so thanks, this has been a tutorial. I'm Isaac, and have a good day.